everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a inside out card or it could be the inner pop-up card that I've done. So I have done these before, however, I haven't done this in a six by six size and I've just changed things a little bit. So we actually, I say we, I made this one during my Facebook Live. Everybody's really enjoyed it and already they're starting to share their ones on the Facebook group. So um, as always, I will do it as a video for YouTube. And um, this is the one that I showed at the beginning. So basically, if you haven't seen my inside out card, I done one for 20, it was just for a New Year's card for 2019 and it's got 2019 on it. And basically you open up the card, you turn it right round and you turn it inside out and then you display it this way. And you can see that's what stands up. It looks really, really nice. It's got such a great look about it. And then you've got the back here that you can write your message on. But I was just thinking when I was doing it, it kind of needs um, instructions so that people know what to do with it. And when you turn it inside out, this is the front at the moment, but it all gets hidden. and you, you never really see that again. So this is now that front piece and it says, please turn me inside out. So they take it out of the envelope. This is what I see. And then they turn it around and then you have this that pops up. And again, it stands up just like the other one. So they both, you know, are exactly the same. Just this one, I've put the directions on it in quite a fun way and then you have your room on the back here still to be able to write your message now if that person decides that they just want to have it like that then that's when you would want to decorate the front so you know there's a few things to kind of think about it's up to you kind of if you do want to change that but so yeah let me show you how to make it Okay, so all of the supplies that I've used to make those cards are from my kit here. This is the Papercraft Society kit. This is kit number 10. Um, as I'm making this video, it is still available and um, I will share the links to it below. But here you have your wallet and inside you have your stamps and dies, your papers. I've got my ribbon there, sequins. I keep everything all together. And um, you get colored pencils with this one as well. And you get a book full of inspiration there from myself, um, showing you some lovely other card ideas. Okay, so you want two pieces of six and a half by six. Now you do want a heavyweight cardstock. This is the Lidl cardstock, which is two, 250 something like that um you know 300 gsm will be perfect but just make sure it's a heavier weight along the um well, it doesn't matter where you score really along the six and a half you want to score at half an inch okay and again on this one along that six and a half just score at half an inch okay and then just fold and burnish and then we're going to stick those two together once we've started to put some of the pop-up pieces in it. You then want this piece here, which is where I'm going to stamp and write my message. This is five and three quarters squared. I've then got this piece, which is five and three quarters squared, which is going to go on the front. And then I've got this piece, which is five and three quarters squared, which I'm going to cut my sentiment into. So you'll see here, this happy birthday. And then I have a pattern piece which is five and three quarters squared. And that's gonna go, show it on this one here. It's gonna go on the back here. Okay, but you might wanna have that, you know, where you will have your, your sentiment. So again, all up to you. Right, that's everything with the scoreboard. So what I'm gonna do first of all, is I'm just gonna die cut this here. Now I'm gonna lay that down there. And then I just wanna make sure I get it like two and a quarter on the last one. Yeah, so I'm just gonna run that through my machine. Okay, so just carefully removed that one. So that's the effect it gives you. So it cuts into the cardstock. There are frames that you can use with it as well, but I do like it when it cuts it like so. So that is now gonna stick on there. It looks really, really nice. So I'll just quickly stick that one down. Okay, so that's all stuck down. So now I've got my birthday cake and I've also stamped another one plain. I've cut this one out with a slightly bigger white border than this one because this will eventually back this one here just to conceal and cover all of the bits that we're going to stick to it. So it just gives it a nice finish. So yeah, I've just got a slightly bigger white border there and then that one's just a little bit thinner. And then I've got some of my acetate here. This is just from packaging, but you want a nice strong acetate. So I'm just roughly trimming this because you only see a little bit. And I'm going to do about half an inch 
there. Okay, you can just about make it out. Show you, there we go, against something there when it hits the light. There we go. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna grab my, my tape here and I'm just gonna pop a strip on the back. And then I'm just gonna stick this on like so. So you can see now it's gonna kind of flap about, which is what we want. And then I'm just gonna run a thin strip along the bottom. I'm just gonna straighten that a little bit, like so, okay. And then this is going to stick on here. Now, whatever you have popping up, when you lay it down, you're gonna stick it inside this piece here. You wanna make sure it doesn't go right to the edge because you don't want it to, any plastic to pop out the top, but you also wanna make sure it's not gonna come out higher than this here because you want it to all stay within the card. So I'm gonna just lay that one down about there. So you can see now that's gonna pop up, okay? Then I'm gonna add, I wanna do the same as what I've done on this one here. So I'm just gonna open this one up. So what I've got is these ones here are gonna go on a little bit of acetate as well and they're gonna pop up either side. So again, just cutting a couple of strips. You don't need it to be too wide, but you do want it to be a thick acetate because that way it's just gonna, you know, those you want these to stand upright when they open up in the card. If you've got like window sheet, that tends to be a lot thinner because it's just really intended to go into the card, as, you know, for like shaker cards and stuff. But you want more of a construction weight, which will hold up your pop-up pieces. So, again, and then with these ones, you can just kind of hold them, this side here, and then you can kind of pinch underneath with your finger how high up you want them to pop out. So, I'm going to do about there and then I can just trim where my finger is and that's now where I need to add my tape just again along the bottom and then I can just kind of hold that in place so now I've got those two there so I'm just going to do the same with this one Again, each time, just don't get that right down to the edges. You just want to make sure you come up a little bit because when that sticks on this side and the card is closed, you can't see any of the plastic popping through and that's what you want. You don't want to have any of that. I mean, you can trim it if you, you know, if it does, but ideally, you know, don't want that coming through. So that's everything I need there with the acetate. These pieces, so I can lay this flat for the minute. These pieces I'm going to stick using some of my quick grab. I'm just going to pop them just along the bottom. So that one, that one, and they're all within that half inch section. Don't go past that score line. That is going to be our pop-up piece. It looks really nice. I love all those presents. And then I've got these here. So you can kind of position stuff. I was saying in the live, you know, lay everything down, kind of place it where you think you're going to put it and take a photo of it. And then you can obviously, you know, look at that then to remind yourself where things were. But I'm going to do that. It's just the same as how I've done all the others. But And it's kind of how I pictured this all to be when it was being designed. So... I'm just going to pop that one there because I'm going to have the yay coming up and that one. And then I'm going to have these two balloons down here. And I'm going to have this other present here. The yay, I've got a little bit of the acetate here. And now that one can sit just in there and again just make sure fold it all over oh look at that just got away with it literally it's just on there make sure you don't go over there okay let's flip this over i'm then going to get my thicker tape so this is the half inch one and i'm going to run this on the back here make sure you got all the air bubbles out and then i'm going to get this piece 
line it all up with this one and then just fold that over. Okay, now check you've got nothing else that you want to stick to that. Whilst I've got it over this way, I'm just going to run some more tape here. And then this one, I'm just going to sit, because I've cut it just a slightly little bit smaller. It covers there perfectly. And then once I do two for the presents there as well, you just get a much nicer finish and the yay will have a little bit on there as well. Okay, I've just done a little bit of sticky tape there. Let me just, I missed it from before. That's better once I get the bunting on there. But now, you stand it up, you've got your inside out card. So I need to decorate the this side here with this piece and then I'm going to put this piece on the front and this piece on the back and I'm going to cut that bunting and, uh, and then I'll show you it all done. Okay so the card's all finished, I've stuck the front on there so please turn me inside out and you open it up and there you have your card which you can't see because it's <laughs> the, the angle but that's how it looks when it stands up. It's just such a fun card. I really am enjoying making these. In the live, we were also talking about making this, you know, you can use it for, for many different occasions, but we said Christmas time, and I thought it would look really nice. I've got the Raymond Briggs stamps from last year, from the Father Christmas, and there's a rooftop die, and I thought you could have the rooftops all along here, and then Father Christmas on his sleigh with some acetate, so he's kind of floating, and then down here would be the fire and the Christmas tree. So this could be your scene and this is the rooftop. So that's the one that I'm going to do. I was going to do it in with this video but I'm going to do it as a separate one. I think it'll be quite a nice one. I'm going to do some colouring and um, just show you other ways to you know take this card style and um, you know use it for other occasions apart from just birthdays but I hope you agree looking at these three in my monitor they're just so colourful so I hope that whoever receives these is going to enjoy them and really like them you know displayed on their their mantle and side table and stuff so I love the fact that there's you know it all just collapses down into that six by six card but yet when you open it up it just pops up and it just it stands there so well again done that back to front but you get the idea and then that one there as well so all three of them just stand up so there you have it so I'll share the links to the product that I've used as always in the description box below and uh, yeah look out for the Christmas one that I'm going to do and if you're on Mixed Up Crafters I'm sure in fact I know there's going to be lots of these starting to come onto the group from other members and they'll be showing their take on it and no doubt doing different um, themes with theirs so I look forward to seeing them so thank you for watching as always I'll link up the inner pop-up card and the inside out pop-up or inside out card that I've done they'll be here and also if you haven't already if you click on my face here and subscribe to my channel if you hit the notification bell you'll be sub you'll be notified then every time I upload a new tutorial so thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon bye